Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. If you guys don't know already, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I am 23 weeks post up, I believe. 22, 23 weeks. I lost track. So um, in this video, I really wanted to come on and talk about loose skin. I have been getting questions about, um, am I scared to have loose skin? Do I have loose skin already? Um, what am I trying to do to combat loose skin? And all the things like that. So the biggest question and the biggest thing I want to talk about is, Am I scared to have loose skin? Absolutely not. Um, I know how my body is. Um, the lowest I've ever been is 200 pounds, 204 pounds. And I didn't have like a great amount of loose skin at that point. And when I got to 200, then I was actually doing like a lot of detoxing, water fasting, and like really limiting my food intake and not really working out. And that's where you really, really get a lot of loose skin. Um, my starting weight in October, the highest I ever got this year, last year, was 287. If you guys have been following me and I did um, the two-week, uh, what was it called, the two-week pre-op diet um, and I wasn't following it, I was still eating like um, hoagies and burgers, Burger King, french fries, like all that stuff like that while I was on the two-week post-op and I actually got up to 287 pounds and that's the highest I've ever seen on the scale. Currently, I am 2.30. I weighed in today at 2.30. So what is that? That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's over 60 pounds lost in less than six months. So you would think I would have like a whole bunch of loose skin. However, it's just not how my body is shaped. My body is shaped very proportioned. I don't have like a whole bunch of weight in my arms or a whole bunch of weight in my stomach or a whole bunch of weight in my legs. Like everything is well proportioned all over. Um, like when I tell people, damn, I was almost 300 pounds, they're like, no, you weren't. Like, no, you weren't. Like, trust me, I was. So that's why when I get to like 200, I tend to look a lot smaller than someone else. Like, you know, everybody's body is different. Um, so for me personally, when I got weight loss surgery, um, and once I knew that I was clear to go to the gym, my big thing was workout. Work out as much as possible. And you don't have to go hard. You just need to be active. People think because you you just had weight loss surgery you shouldn't work out because you're going to put too much stress on your body you're not we're not telling the doctor's not telling you to run a half marathon your doctor's not telling you to lift 50 100 pounds some of the doctors tell you don't even lift but you can go on a treadmill and walk for 3.0 or walk around your block or even honestly like jog a little bit after like two or three months you can get on a stationary bike, like a lot of the elliptical, a lot of um, cardio-based workouts you can do. Um, I would say like waist training and stuff like that, you can do. Everybody's different, but me personally, I felt very comfortable at about four months, only because you're kind of like squeezing um, the tissue and your wounds and like everything like that in your midsection. So I don't know if you're that comfortable. I really wasn't, so... I decided to do it a little bit later on um, but that has really been helping me with like my waist area my arms I really been lifting and stuff like that um, just to make sure like I said I wasn't doing anything crazy if you guys are following me on Instagram you guys will know I wasn't lifting like 30 40 pounds um, a lot of people were like oh you should be lifting heavier and all that stuff nope I'm trusting my body and you know I'm doing it a little bit as possible I was like two to three months post out when I started lifting and I'm seeing a huge difference now that I'm going into my six month um it's the little thing so I started off at 15 to 20 pounds doing three reps of like 15 to 20 now my reps are a lot higher and that's because I'm not doing a lot of weight but um weight training is definitely something that will combat loose skin um I don't really want to get plastic surgery I don't think I'm gonna get plastic surgery I didn't I didn't have this surgery to have like this perfect bomb body. I did this weight loss surgery to be healthy, to look better, to feel better. Um, but I'm not trying to have like this perfect flat stomach and these bomb arms and you know, all that stuff. I'm just happy with what I can do on my own. Now, I'm not saying I'm against plastic surgery because sometimes you actually do need it because it's just uncomfortable. And it's not flattering at all when like your arms are hanging almost to the ground. You know what I mean? So I understand when women get it and men get it. Like I understand. Um, so yeah, I'm like I said, for me personally, what has really been helping me is to work out. Work out and eat the right things. I notice some days when I'm eating like a whole bunch of carbs and all that stuff, 
but like in proportion i'm still losing weight but i still feel bloated in the midsection but then when i'm drinking like a maximum amount of water and eating more like water-based foods i feel like my stomach isn't as bloated so foods take a big part in that mid midsection to making sure um you're looking better and feeling better like today even though it's in the morning i did eat already i am going to show you guys um my body and how it's looking and all that stuff but keep in part this is not the flattest my stomach looks um like i said if you guys are following me on instagram you can see anyway i'm gonna show you guys let me see if i can get it really really good right now i am 230 pounds as you guys can see i still have a whole bunch of fat here like of course but i do have like a lot of definition and then my back fat so yeah honestly with me all of this is fat like i said i'm 230 pounds and i still have 30 40 50 50 pounds to still lose which is a lot so a lot of this will go my arms it's nothing crazy i mean it's not something that i would say i would get um weight loss surgery for my, my legs as well are a little like flabby and stuff but like i said it's not something that i am going to get weight loss plastic surgery for but yeah this is all fat this is not skin this is fat and it will come off i do have stretch marks if you guys want to see my scars you can see them a little bit i guess one two three uh four five and then my belly button it's one this is six and then you can see like my stretch marks because oh don't fall so yeah this is it right here as you guys can see i have the tummy down there as well i just i tend to oh i'm stepping on all these dinosaurs i tend to just proportion very very well but this is what i'm looking like yep yep and i just really been wearing my waist trainer as much as possible um i really like it if you guys are interested this is the brand i know people have been asking me but this is what it is and i feel very very happy with how i look right now just because like i said right now i already ate and i'm really bloated but i don't know why but <laughs> you can see like some ab definition going on don't know why but i do have that <laughs> anyway guys that is about it that's what i wanted to show you guys that's what i want to tell you guys you guys can see the collarbone coming out feeling really good just stay motivated and um don't really don't really worry about loose skin trust me you have come a long way just keep doing what you're doing and i'll see you in my next video bye guys